Mr Speaker. Uh, there's nothing snappy, I'm afraid, about the management of those who are known to be a, a threat to the most vulnerable in society, and particularly Gary Chester Nash, about whom uh, the Ministry produced a report very recently, and who newly released from prison, uh, and known to be a serious threat and a violent offender, particularly to the most vulnerable, was able to travel despite having a unique national ASBO to come to 300 miles from the London area to my constituency to murder Jean Bowditch in my constituency. And despite many inquiries into this case, his widow, her, her widower, Mike Bowditch, remains angry at the fact that no one has been found to be responsible for the handling of this known serious offender. And I wonder whether the Minister has anything to say which I can report back to my constituent to reassure them that this, this system is actually capable of managing serious offenders like that. Yeah. Well done, Andrew. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, can I begin by expressing again uh, our sympathy to the relatives of Mrs Jean Bowditch for the loss that they suffered uh, when she was murdered by Gary Chester Nash. Um, he raises important issues. The, the fact that we needed to ensure we learned the lessons of, of this uh, particularly uh, awful case meant that we did have a, a, a full strategic uh, management board serious case review in the London mapper and that we followed that up in government by asking Her Majesty's Chief Inspector of Probation to carry out a further full inspection to see to what extent the recommendations made by that report had been implemented. He's just published his report, as the Honourable Gentleman will know, which is called On the Right Road, which does indicate that there's more still to do. He made some recommendations. Um, uh, we will be trying to make sure that those further recommendations made by the Chief Inspector are all implemented. In respect of his particular constituent, it's impossible for any member of this House, Mr Speaker, to take away the hurt and pain caused by being a relative of a victim of a particularly serious murder of this kind. But I'm always happy to meet honourable members in respect of these issues and, and would be happy to do so in this particular case.